Turning now to what's happening this weekend in our area. Providence is one now the temporary home for a so-called modern ice palace. Now through late next month, Ashley Erling is live in the capital city. She's got a look at the Lumina Light Festival. It continues to shine bright this weekend. Ashley, how's it going out there? Joe, it's going great. Providence is the place to be this weekend, not just because of the PC game, by the way, although I think we all know we're thinking about that, but the Lumina Light Festival is going on and it's going on for a few weeks and here to tell us all about it is Nora. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. I think this has really created a lot of buzz in the city and I people are wondering what is this light festival all about? So the downtown parks has brought this festival along with your partners down here to Providence, but what is it? So it's a way to get Rhode Islanders out of their homes during the winter time and get them to gather around this public art installation. It's about connecting um, the ice rink uh, down door, uh, via Doran Street down to this 195 District Park. We want to get people out. There are lots of activities happening. There are installations here for a month until February 20, 20th, which you see behind us. And then we have um, Limon Studios have brought the banana statues and public art in front of the ice rink. So our goal is to really bring people out, bring families out. Um, every single weekend we have activities happening. We're bringing Le Patin Libre, which is a skating group that's going to do a performance on the 17th of February at the ice rink. And then there's a light up dance party afterwards. And Johnson Wales University will do a culinary free hot chocolate um, at the rink on the same day. But today we have a big day. It's filled with activities. Um, we're partnering up with the Mayor, Mayor Smiley, with City Parks, and with 195 District Park. They're all amazing, and the Downtown Improvement District. They're all have just been amazing partners, and without them, this event would not be successful. So please follow us on Instagram, look on our website. We have uh, Circus Dynamics, Big Nazos coming with all their light up things. 1031 will be here with their light up butterfly. We're going to have... Um, a parade. We're going to have free hot chocolate at Loft that uh, starts at 2 from 2 to 8. There's free ice skating sponsored by Bank Newport for so everyone. This is an all day event. Even yeah. though these look so incredible at night, they light up. They're really special and unique at night. But during the day, there's still plenty to see. Lots going on. There's yeah. even a spa behind me, a portable <laughs> spa, which we'll show a little bit later. Yeah. But there, your partners have been amazing that you've been able to bring all this programming here. Oh, definitely. Um, um, it, you know, it, the 195 District Park, their team helped us actually assemble these. Um, the Downtown Improvement District, are, all the guys in the Block by Black guys are escorting people back and forth. City Parks have, um, and the mayor has been so supportive in providing permitting really in a quick manner and been um, just, you know, the, the police, the Providence police it has been so supportive and kind of looking over the entire event. Like this is this is an ode to Providence yeah. and magic happens when collaboration um, we all work together to make the city shine and that's what it deserves. Absolutely and even in the winter we can still have fun and get out now. Turn now to what's happened this weekend in our area. Providence's 195 District Park is now the temporary home for the so-called Modern Ice Palace. Now through late next month, Ashley Erling is live in the capital city with a look at the Lumina Light Festival continuing to shine bright this weekend. Ashley, a little chilly out there. I see you got your earmuffs on, but how's everything going? It is a little chilly. The earmuffs are working, I have to say, but I would recommend getting some mittens. I'm going to be going shopping for those right after this today, but well worth coming out today to Providence for many reasons, and not the least of which is this Lumina Light Festival that's going on for a whole month, and Mark is here to tell us more about it. He's from the 195 District Commission. Good morning. Good morning. So good to see you. It's so good to see you. I'm excited to talk to you about everything that's going on down here on the 195 District Park area. But let's start with the festival that's here this weekend and actually for still a few more weeks afterwards. Yeah, it's great. It goes until the end of February. It's really put on by the Downtown Parks Network in collaboration with so many different groups like the City of Providence, the 195 District Commission. But it's great. You have 25 light towers here. It just brings such vibrancy and it's fun and it's great to see people, even though it's cold, 
out walking around enjoying the city. It has been great. Even this morning, we're seeing so many people walking by, playing with the prisms as they're walking by, even though it is a little bit chilly. Lots to see and do, and you have been working with some great partners to bring programming and things down here to this, this plot of land, which you were telling me has had over a hundred events just this year. That's insane. Yeah, last year we had 130 events. This is called the 195 District Park. We're also standing next to the Bally's event lawn. We average about 5,000 visitors a day. It's just, it's so nice for people that live and work here. It's a special place, but we want to make it even more special. So right over here, we're going to start building a pavilion later this year, which will have the Guild Restaurant, a Seven Stars Bakery, Wi-Fi, public restrooms. Like we want to make this place as special as we can possibly make it. I am so excited excited to hear about all of that. I love the addition of the pedestrian bridge you can see behind us. People are even walking around now taking pictures of what's going on. It really has connected the city and we have been to so many events alone here on Saturday mornings for what's happening because there has been so much going on and now with the addition of some permanent structures that will bring even more people. You could grab a coffee. You can hang out with your friends. There's just so much right here in this little footprint. It's terrific to see if you come down here like on a Sunday morning, obviously in warmer weather, they're the outdoor yoga classes. Mm -hmm. You just love to see people enjoying the outside space. And this is why we live here. Rhode Island's such a special place. Downtown Providence is fantastic, and we want it to get even better. It really is so special. And, you know, your community partners, it seems like you really are doing a great job of finding different people to work with to bring these types of special programming down here. You know, it really starts at the top with Mayor Smiley. He's just done such a great job with the city. But all of the different organizations, Downtown Parks Network, um, you know, the City of Providence, Providence Parks, the Downtown Improvement District, everyone comes together because everyone has a shared interest in making Providence the best it can possibly be. It does, and it's so much fun. You know, we were talking about there were lots of people out last night coming down here to.